All right, At Your Leisure fans, I hope you're ready because this weekend's adventures take us all over the world. First, we start off close to home as we head into the heart of Red Rock Country to visit the first ever annual Canab Red Rock ATV Jamboree. Next, Chad and I are off to the high seas and tour the Mediterranean on a motor sailing yacht. Finally, Reed Stein is taking us back east and back in time as he visits one of the most iconic streets in American history. Can you guess where? It's all happening now on At Your Leisure. Trail to explore a new machine to test drive. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Why well, can't get any better than that, right? <laughs> it is the best today. Hi, well, everybody. I'm Rhea Rossi Booth. And I'm Chad Booth. Welcome to At Your Leisure. Today, we are in Kanab, or in Kane County, at the Kanab ATV Jamboree. This is an outgrowth of the fun run they've had for a number of years. And we're out with a bunch of our friends. And, uh, you know, they say this is an expensive sport sport and you may go broke participating in it huh. so that's why we're on the poverty flats run today <laughs> that's right but but believe me these rigs are, are beautiful I don't think uh, I don't think we're gonna have any problems today no as a matter of fact I've not had a chance to drive a Yamaha Wolverine and Stedman's was kind enough to say hey take our demo and put some mud on it so that's what we're gonna do today yeah let's go check it out yeah On this jamboree, we've got 12 rides, uh, all day rides, 30, 40 miles each day. You can come to Kanab and ride by yourself, but you just don't see the things that are here. You don't see the petroglyphs, see the Indian ruins, you don't know the history. You just ride, on, ride around and you don't ever know where you're at. On a jamboree, we take you, we tell you the history, we explain what's around here and what you can see here. and and then you can come back and go on your own. It's a beautiful area over there. You drop down through the white cliff and down into the bottom. Uh, you'll see some great petroglyphs and stuff down there today. And it's just, a, it's sandy and it's also got a lot of silk rock, so it's a diverse ride. Well, that's what's so great about Kanab. We have such a diversity. We have sand, there's a lot of sand around here. We also have a lot of slick rock. We're going to be riding. We have two of our rides on the monument, and that's the first time that's ever happened. Hog Canyon's always good. There's actually five trails in Hog Canyon, uh, some that are pretty radical and some that are pretty easy. There's a lot of good places to ride and a lot of things to see. So the view from the road, anywhere you go along this ridge, is absolutely spectacular. There are massive drop-offs you can see the white cliffs down below that drop down into the Virgin River Gorge. This eventually becomes part of Zion National Park. So uh, yeah. it's pretty, pretty exciting. Kane County never disappoints, ever, no, especially they, on a trail. That's true. They certainly They got don't. it going on. Doesn't matter whether you're on it on an ATV or horseback or with your feet. Right. There's always great stuff to see in Kane County. There is, yeah. Well, right now it's time for us to move ahead to our destination. We are off to a very new where to. Bigger is better, so they say. I mean, you start with a Honda 90 and you end up with a Razor 1000. Your first trailer is a teardrop, but you yearn for that Class A. Now, I followed that mantra as I've gone on cruises, each trip on a bigger and grander cruise ship. But last year, Rhea and I were invited to go on a Mediterranean cruise with some of our friends from Channel 4. It was something we would have never picked. We didn't even take a real camera with us, so, you know, please forgive the home movies, but we can't seem to be quiet about it. No, no I know, I talk about it all the time. So, today we thought we'd share our trip along the Italian and French Mediterranean on the windsurf, the cruise ship that says it's 180 degrees from ordinary, and only a fraction of the size of the big lines. Well, I like the fact that it was more of an intimate surrounding, and I truly felt like I was on a yacht and not like a cruise packed in there with 5,000 people. It was just really romantic, like you really felt the romance of the sea. You know, the ship itself was really impressive. It's the kind of thing I'd like. 
It had seven sail masts sitting atop a gleaming 535-foot liner. The sail system is something to see as it's 100% automatic and you transition from power to sail seamlessly. These are not for show. They actually work. If we have really good wind, we can stop the, the engine and sails only. So 100%. If not, we have the sails up and we always can reduce a little bit the, the engine for more efficiency. Given the size of the windsurf, we were not expecting race simulators or bowling alleys, but neither were we expecting the marina, a large tailgate that gave the ship a swim deck on the Mediterranean. I thought the swim deck was really fun. Um, it, it was one of those things where you could just jump in the ocean and play in the kayaks and, you know, just float around in, in, in the Mediterranean. It doesn't get more yachty than that. You know, sailing on a small ship makes not only a difference in a port you visit, as you can navigate much smaller places, but it also changes the character of your time ashore. You're not lost in a crush of 6,000 people hitting the waterfront all at once. Uh, I just never felt like I was a tourist. I just felt like I blended in with everybody. It was really cool. I love church architecture and the, the cathedrals that we went into were beautiful. And they were open, so you could go in and just walk around and, you know, meditate if you wanted to. It was pray. It was beautiful. I could have just stayed in those churches all day. It was lovely. For me, the highlight of the trip had to be Monte Carlo, home of the European jet set. But it wasn't the rich and famous, the harbor full of expensive yachts. No, it was to drive the famed Formula One race course that takes place on the streets of Monte Carlo each year. It was easy. We got a map and rented a car and drove. From the hilltops of Elba to the tiny alleys of Portofino, the secluded beaches of France, seeing small town Mediterranean by yacht, is kind of like driving the back roads of America on a motorcycle. I think if you are in the mood for a low-key, absolutely beautiful, romantic week, um, there's just something about being on a sailing yacht that just, uh, it's just amazing. RVing is the only way to go, and Paris RV would like to introduce to you their high-quality line of Lance campers and trailers. Since 1965, Lance has been committed to building campers and trailers that are second to none in quality, reliability, safety, and craftsmanship, and are considered to be best in class. Camping is about family, friends, and enjoying the outdoors. Come down and see us and our new line of Lance RVs at Paris RV South location at 5545 South State or online at parisrv.com. Yeah, we're folks bound by traditions. Whether it's holiday time or vacation time, make sure that one of your traditions is a stop at the Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Delicious cheese direct from the factory, ice cream, tasty treats, crafts, and gifts of all kinds. And it's the perfect place to get a bowl of creamy mac and cheese. Start your new tradition the next time you're headed our way. The Creamery in Beaver, Utah. Farm, meat table. Wide open terrain, a full tank of gas, and someone to share it with. Perfect conditions to showcase our first ever Talon 1000R. From Honda, standing at nearly 69 inches wide, it's built for speed over rugged terrain. From rock crawl ravines to dry lake beds, dunes, and the miles of trail connecting them all. That's how life is better side by side. In the all new Talon 1000R. From Honda. What's New segment is brought to you by Tunex. Towing season is upon us. We can get your truck and trailer ready for towing. 
This may look like an ordinary high clearance backcountry pop-up trailer, but it's not. Hi everybody, welcome to our product review. Today we're taking a look at a Paris RV's latest addition to their lines. This is called the Opus. Now this is designed from the ground up to be a true backcountry trailer and I will show you exactly why. But let's start with the unique nature of how quickly this pop-up pops up. Come on inside. As you can see, for a very small trailer that weighs just around 2,000 pounds total, there's a lot of interior space in the Opus. But the most remarkable thing about it is that it's a simple process. It's all done by air. These columns are rigid bladders. There are three of them, and they actually pop the entire top up all by themselves. You simply pull this hose out, plug it in here, turn on the compressor, and whoosh, the whole thing fills up. The thing that really impressed me the first time I climbed in the Opus is for a small trailer how spacious it is. Take a look, I mean, take a look around. What you won't see in here is the kitchen. And you won't see the fridge, but it does have them. The toilet for the Opus, it's in a little compartment right here. And it's a regular porta potty. You can put it outside in the canopy enclosure for the bathroom or just keep it stowed in here when you're out on the trail and you need it. So let's see where the living is. Come outside to the kitchen. The entire kitchen, minus the fridge, is all right here in one single drawer. It contains work counter space, four burners with wind guards. You have a sink with a strainer, water, shelving, and of course, plug that in and you've got a kitchen work light. Now you can store all of your utensils in the drawers that sit on the front so that you've got everything in access for dinner right here. Now, right next door is the fridge. Just basically slide it out. It's in the Domatic. It has all of the stuff that you need in it. Refrigerator bins, it's got a shelf. You can complement it with dry ice right here. We'll turn it on to run on 12 volt or on shore power 120. In the beginning, I was talking about the fact that this trailer is truly designed from the get-go as an off-road trailer. Nothing will prove it more like its towing ability, and I'm not talking about weight or anything. Take a look at this unique hitch they have on here. This is fully articulating 360 degrees this way, so it doesn't matter what kind of terrain you have to go over to get to where you're camping. This hitch is not going to be restricted by the limitations of a ball hitch. And then when you get parked, you don't have to find rocks anymore. Put a parking brake on your trailer so that it stays put while you're getting it set up. Finally, look down this side of the Opus. This is where your shower goes. There is an optional enclosure that you can uh, have so you can take nice hot water showers out here in the woods. It's got a furnace, water heater, and then all that camping gear that you need, the kayaks and the float tubes and the fishing gear, that all sits on this rack, which has a hydraulic assist, which actually comes down over the hard shell of the top when it's all closed, you're all set to go. If you want to check this true outdoor rig out, you can find it at Paris RV on State Street in Salt Lake City. I'm Chad Booth with our product review. We'll be back with more at your leisure in just a minute. What is it that gets us out here to the middle of nowhere? What makes us choose the sweltering heat instead of our air-conditioned homes and swimming pools? Usually, it's just some friendly trash talk. And we wouldn't have it any other way. There's a little place on a Utah map Where I was raised, where my heart's at Where the sagebrush grows wild and high Stars come out at night Oh, there ain't nothing like Being raised in the basin with the youth reservation Skin starvation, that Duchesne County life You have the right machine, the best tires, and top-of-the-line gear to make it over the top and beyond. Make sure that you have the best fuel money can buy, too. Clear 91 ethanol free from Eagles Landing. Specially formulated for today's high-performance off-road engines. It's gas strong enough to stand up to any challenge and any warranty. Clear 91 protects your internal engine parts and keeps years longer than ethanol blends. So go out of your way to stock up on Clear 91 ethanol free at Eagles Landing with four locations along I-15.
Welcome back to That's Your Leisure, everybody. Well, we've descended all the way down to basically the Virgin River, but now we're gonna go check out some Texas lists, but we have to go by foot because we're not allowed to drive down there. As we promised, though, we uh, are trying a new machine out today, and so we thought we'd kind of give you our impression. Oh, awesome machine. Yeah, you know, there've been a lot of um, Maverick mumblings and Razor rumblings out there, some Terex talk, but the uh, Yamaha Wolverine kind of came onto the scene with no fanfare. I know. I didn't know anything about it until you showed up with it. Okay. Well, what were your impressions? Love it. Especially ladies, if you want to drive something really forgiving and really comfortable, super quiet. This was really a beautiful drive. I mean, riding as a passenger and driving it is a joy. It's fun. It's got a feedback system in its power steering, so it never feels mushy. Uh, it really soaks up the bumps. It's got a very soft ride, so if you're looking for the thrill of the Baja ride, that this isn't your machine. Right. Great for a family. It's, it yeah. seats people in the back, down low, but it also allows you to use a cargo box. You can pull these seats out very easily and expand your cargo space. We actually have a lot of gear in this thing with us right now. Yeah, it's it's a dream. You should check it out. I mean, Stedman's, of course, they're... They've They're, got it on their room, in their showroom. Right. My one, my one note for the engineers is that it's very easy to get into. It's kind of hard to get out of until you figure out how to lift your fanny up over the part of the door that doesn't open. Yeah. And so it's, it's a little awkward getting out of, and I think if they could rework that, they'd have a winner all the way around. Yeah, it's, it's, it's minor. <laughs> Let's get down to the petroglyphs and look what you see along the way. A lot of the trails out here are a lot of sand trails, so you don't have so much dust in them. Um, you come up the ridges and stuff, and the trails will turn into rocky trails compared to the sand down in the flats, and it's sandy. This is the first one that Kanab has done, and Rob and I decided that we would we would sign up and come and see this part of the country. We've always ridden mostly to the south of here, but uh, so this is new to me, but I thoroughly enjoy it. Um, the scenery from this side of the, the mountain is a lot different than on the other side so the scenery over here is amazing. I have been on it once before and I enjoyed it and I signed up to come back so I must have liked it. It's been a gorgeous ride. We've had a couple little technical spots, dropped deep into, into uh, Poverty Canyon. It's been a beautiful ride. It's been a beautiful ride. and it's a beautiful day and I don't think you could ask for more beautiful country than this area out here. My trails are good and I like trail riding but I'd like it not to be a highway. And this is a good one today. To get your families out and to get more friends out, uh, this is a good way to go. But yeah, we do love it. We do love it. For the first time, I think it was great. But the guides are great. They've been guiding this area. They know this area. They're the club guides. And it's been a great, great trip. You know, when you get exploring in the outdoors, you sometimes forget how big the outdoors is. They said it was just down by the river and along a cliff face. So I thought I knew, but we've been looking for our whole lunch hour. We haven't found it. I know, this is a vast area. But it, I'll tell you what, sitting down here, you could just sit right here on this little rock and take a look at what's behind us and all your cares slip away. You can just sit there like come to rescue you. It's beautiful. Kind of like, kind of like the crowd's doing. So we yeah. go from this beautiful shot of the Virgin River and we're off to our along the way. I'm Reese Stein, at your leisure, along the way on one of the most historic streets in America. It was here in Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia, 300 years ago, that many of these buildings, original to the time, witnessed the very beginning of the idea of America. A walk down Duke of Gloucester Street is a stroll back in time. George Washington trod here. He still does, at least a modern incarnation. Original buildings from the 1700s, including Alexander Craig's 1755 home, grace the avenue. At Gloucester's head, Virginia's Colonial Capitol Building, home to the House of Burgesses, America's first representative legislature. This is the very cradle of where our democracy started. While 88 of the buildings are original, including the 1775 Pasteur and Gauld Apothecary and Nicholson's Revolutionary War period store, the Capitol Building, which also served as the Colonial Courthouse, is not. 
No, sir. Unfortunately, that was destroyed in a fire, but this is a reconstruction sitting on its original foundation. Founded in 1633, Williamsburg gained fame when it was named the capital in 1699. Today, this 300-acre site is one of the most extensive living history museums in the country. It's alive with guides dressed to the period, including barber Cesar Hope, a freed slave who offers me a close shave while regaling our group with real-life stories of the era. I really like when the people hook on to the like the characters and told us about their lives and stuff like that. Made it more real maybe? Yeah, made it more real, made it like I learned a lot more when that happened. In my opinion, that's the way it ought to be. Who holds the reins of our government? You do. The people do. The citizens do. Bill Barker has portrayed Thomas Jefferson here for nearly 40 years and is the star of Williamsburg. Do not forget where we have been so that we may better understand where we are. You might also hear from Patrick Henry or Revolutionary War hero Marquis de Lafayette. Indeed, my friend, the last time I set foot upon American soil was just after the great victory at Yorktown. They got people who were really, they know their stuff. They can talk about the people, the places, and the ideas that came from here, which is really fun. And then they go into character. And then all of a sudden you're now talking to George Washington or to Thomas Jefferson. And it's like really talking to him. There's a lot of stuff for the kids here too. They can shop for trinkets at the marketplace or in several stores. They can even join the colonial militia, get firearms training, and fight in an 18th century style battle. I learned about how hard it was to, for people to learn all the stuff that they needed to in order to shoot in the Revolutionary War and become at, at least somewhat good soldiers. Who won the battle? It was a draw, but I think we won. I think we should have won. <laughs> and if the kids get out of line, there's an 18th century solution. The blacksmith shop is alive with apprentice Jenny showing off traditional forging skills, while real-life tinsmith Steve makes pots and pans for revolutionary troops. It's really big. It's gigantic. There's lots and lots of buildings. They keep saying it's a museum, a town that's a museum. The stately Bruton Parish Church dates from 1715, although the interior was restored in the early 19th century. Only the balcony and staircase are original. During their twice a year session, the Burgesses, including Washington, Jefferson, Patrick Henry, all worshiped in these restored pews. Colonial Williamsburg is the apex of Virginia's dramatic historic triangle, which includes Jamestown and the Yorktown battlefield, both just a few miles away. Hey man, this is where democracy began. Reese Stein at your leisure along the way in Colonial Williamsburg, Virginia. The new leader in off-road utility, the completely reinvented Ranger XP1000. It's got the most power, the largest towing capacity, the highest ground clearance, and the best comfort and storage. Introducing the all-new Polaris Ranger XP1000, the hardest working, smoothest riding Ranger ever built. Give us the work no one else wants to do. We don't just go against the grain, we grow it. Give us the frontiers, the places where success is measured and pushed limits. Give us the middle of nowhere, where the only map is your buddy's tread marks. This life, no one's born ready for it.
and we will see you next week on The County Seat. That is a view into the heart of Zion Canyon. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. On our ride today, we are as close to being inside the park on an ATV as you can. So true, Chad. This, this is fascinating, really. You know, some trails are all about the obstacles and you got to get around them and they're real technical. Some are about the scenery. This is definitely the scenery. Teeny bit of obstacle, but beautiful. Yeah, it's just been fun. The fun part's been weaving in and out of the trees. Oh my gosh. On the, on the tops of the plateaus. That's just a blast. And the sand's all soft and you're just banking. Oh, it's really fun. True. Anyway, we are, uh, we're going to get to our business. We've got to be on the scout for a contest winner, amongst other things. So let's get to the work of the show. This week's contest winner was submitted to us on Facebook by Gary Otto and his lucky muddy winner of a $400 gift certificate from Rifab, which offers custom metal fabrication for your rig. Visit Rifab.com for your details. And it looks like Gary's also going to win a $100 gas in gift card from Eagles Landing. Woohoo! The only place to get the real gasoline, Clear 91 ethanol free fuel. Congratulations! And don't forget to call us to claim your prize, 801 947 8888. And if you need something else to claim, how about claiming one of these upcoming events as your own? On June 22nd, out at the Equestrian Park in South Jordan, Utah, is the 11th annual Ride the Brain Wave event presented by Children and the Earth. The event has a 5K race, motorcycle rally, UTV ride, a car show, and a concert series. That's a lot of stuff. Then June 28th through the 29th, we will be at the Beaver Lake Fest. Come out for a day of lake activities, food, and music. We hope to catch you there. Now let's take a look at next week's show. Next week we are hitting the open road as we take a UTV trip from St. George to Mesquite. Then we are sharing the dedication of the beautiful Fred Hayes State Park in honor of our dear friend Fred Hayes. After that we're following the next generation of Paris boys to see how they use their trailers to not only get out and have some fun but to stay connected to their friends and family. Well, next week's show looks uh, a lot better in this place. <laughs> <laughs> I like this place. <laughs> this is so cool. This place. It's, a, it's this is an old movie set that we're sitting, we're standing on right now here in mm -hmm. Kanab. What was the name of the show that they had? Oh, it's F Troop. Yeah. The movie Fort Apache. Uh, I believe Sergeant's Three. They all used this fort stockade that sits out here outside the town of Kanab. It used to have a stockade fence around it and other buildings. Yeah, so. this was back in the 60s, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, so very cool. You can catch it on MeTV probably, all those really great shows. That's right. Well, you know, the people here in Kanab know how to throw an ATV jamboree. And so you may want to mark this free calendar for next year if you missed it this year. Absolutely. You have to come out here. The people are so much fun and the scenery is amazing. And then we're going to have a Dutch oven meal here. It's just so cool. It's very unique jamboree. If we get talking now, we can get into credits and you can drool over what you <laughs> missed for dinner. So remember, there is adventure around every bend. You just got to get out there and create your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure. Let's go right. leisurely stand in the food line.